Hello and welcome to another edition of Siena Saints Weekly. I'm your host, Andrew Champagne. Let's take a look at the week that was in Siena Athletics. There will be a new MAC women's soccer champion this season as Siena has been eliminated from conference tournament contention. Back-to-back -back ties with Canisius and Niagara weren't enough for the Saints, and the careers of the winningest class in program history will end on Saturday with a senior day showdown against I-87 rival Marist. Men's soccer went 0-1-1 this past week, tying Manhattan 1-1 Friday before falling to reigning MAC champion St. Peter's 2-1 on Sunday. The Saints will look to improve their seating for next week's MAC tournament with two home games this weekend. Siena welcomes Loyola on Friday before facing Ryder on Sunday. And if you can't make it to Siena Turf Field, you can catch all the action online at SiennaAllAccess.com. Siena Volleyball got three more big wins, taking down MAC foes Ryder and Loyola at home before sweeping Iona on the road. Siena is now 7-6 and six in the MAC and has won five in a row. Head coach Garvey Pierre thinks the team, which struggled at times earlier in the year, could be coming together at the right time. We are playing together, and then they are supporting each other. That's important, and then I believe that's very good for us to have that at that time of the season. Uh, we are in a turning point right now where we cannot afford losing games. So um, that's to get, that kind of toge to togetherness is ha helping the team to succeed. Siena squares off with Marist in Poughkeepsie on Saturday. The Saints swept the Red Foxes earlier this season, and a win would significantly help the Green and Gold's chances at a MAC tournament berth. Siena swimming and diving had a big weekend, going 5-1 in dual meet competition at the Northeast Catholic Invitational. Among others, the Saints took down Holy Cross and MAC rival Iona, losing only to the host Boston College Eagles. Freshman Jackie Medina won four events and earned MAC Women's Swimmer of the Week honors in the process. Siena also turned back Holy Cross 169 to 127 Wednesday and travels to Vermont on Saturday. Men's and women's golf ended their fall seasons at the Lehigh Invitational. The men finished tied for second, while the women finished sixth. Justin Deitch finished second, just one shot off the individual medalist to complete a strong autumn campaign. Both teams will now put their clubs away until the spring season, one that ends at the MAC Championships in Florida. Field hockey dropped two NEC games this past weekend, falling 6-1 to Quinnipiac and dropping a 4-0 decision at Sacred Heart. Sophomore goalkeeper Beth Myers has now stopped 213 shots on the season, too shy of the record held by Renee Clavette, and will get a chance to break it Sunday on Senior Day against Bryant. And basketball season is inching closer and closer. The annual MAC preseason awards show took place on Tuesday at the Basketball Hall of Fame in Springfield, Massachusetts. We were there with a the camera. Check it out. The 2011 MAC Preseason Awards Show was held Tuesday at the Basketball Hall of Fame in Springfield, Massachusetts, host site of the MAC Tournament through 2014. At a venue that celebrates the evolution of basketball, 20 teams came together to enjoy the evolution of the MAC and to share their excitement over the partnership with a locale known as Basketball City USA. I've always been a big admirer of coming here and, and it, you know, bringing and going through the facility, and I, I think it's going to add a great deal to our tournament. And, um, you know, we're real excited about playing in Springfield. It's fitting here today to be tip off match, very special 2011 2012 season at the Hall of Fame, and then we crown the MAC champions in March, and then host the MAC postseason awards show thereafter. In every sense, the MAC road begins and ends in Springfield, the birthplace of basketball. Preseason polls were released Tuesday as well. The Siena men were picked sixth in the conference, while the women were slotted seventh. Head coaches Mitch Bonagiro and Gina Castelli expressed optimism about the upcoming season, one they hope will end in conference titles come early March. It's a new team, like you said. You know, we did lose Ryan Rossiter, who we rely, and Clarence Jackson, who's a very good player. So this is a team that's going to have to score in different ways. It's going to be more of a team. All of our players have to really step up, and I think that you know, our trip overseas really helped us, gave us a little bit of confidence and more experience. So, you know, going into this year, uh, looks looks really bright, even though we're very young. The celebration of the upcoming season and the partnership between the MAC and Springfield also included the launch of an exhibit honoring the league. It also featured a video called A Day in the Life, profiling student-athletes around the conference like Siena junior forward Odie Anasicki. As an economics major and a sociology minor and a criminal justice minor, uh, I want to put myself in a position where uh, basketball is not my end all be all. I want to have something to fall back on. Uh, my mom was always preached at growing up uh, to myself and my siblings, and I always take that uh, to heart. 
The exhibit opened Tuesday to rave reviews, and Springfield and the MAC hope those rave reviews apply to their union as well. The MAC's very proud to be associated with the Hall of Fame in the city of Springfield, Massachusetts, and our, mem and our members are humbled, really humbled, to be in this Hall of Fame and part of that exhibit in the second floor area. It's, it's just a great day for the MAC. We could not be more proud to be the host for the MAC for the coming three years. As the mayor alluded to, this is the first opportunity to have a book in this competition at the building, so that was very exciting. For the next three years, and hopefully for many years beyond, our plan is to make the MAC championships the most memorable, meaningful, and enjoyable for both fan and student athlete alike. Beyond great MAC basketball championships, we want to create an environment that celebrates the game in a way like no other championship city. That'll wrap it up for this week on CNS Saints Weekly. I'm Andrew Champagne, and I'll see you next week.